Do a skit to this. Hold It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, madam. Man, hey, man. It's going down, man. Hey, man. We got a special guest, man. All the way from. Where this dude from, man? The ATL. No, he ain't from no ATL. Got that ATL. <laughs> yeah. from, uh, up I there, know he gonna say over that. There at that Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Man, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah. Over there where uh, Big Rob from. Know, Shout out Big I Rob know, by I camera, know. man. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't even know what that is, man. They think it's white people down there, man. Check it, man. Exactly. We got cheating ass Myron Crazy. in the building, man. What's going down? What's up? What's up, man? man. I'm back. I'm back. I'm man, back. We, you know what, man? I'm gonna be real with you, man. When I when I think about uh comedy, when I think about things that I really trip off of, man, you one of them guys, man. I'm looking for the little small uh that I don't know where that that, that is that a twenty two? What is man, that? It's man, it's a forty four. It's a four four. Don't disrespect my four four. <laughs> Talking about a twenty-two, <laughs> ain't no twenty, ain't no two, nothing no, in there. But it's 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 quite unique. Man, it, yeah, it's a faux faux. I don't did, give a damn did, what you, you didn't think bring it. it? Nah, I should have brought it. You, you popped your ass for calling it a twenty-two. <laughs> that why I should have. I should have. Uh, <laughs> Captain, man. So what's been going on, man? Man, cooling, cooling, man, grinding, man. They took my damn page, oh, man. Oh, that was the whole game I seen that. I tripped they took when my I seen page, that, man. bro. I thought you was going to get it back, though. Everybody else I know that they took their pages, they got it back. I probably Why would, haven't no, you gotten it back? Because, hey, man, I'm in Atlanta. They be trying to scam. I love Atlanta, but they be telling you, like, man, I can get your page back for $10,000, $5,000. I'm not giving you no $7,000, really? $5,000, $10,000 my page. Yeah, yeah. They be DMing you, telling you that. Listen, I tried the one. I ain't going to lie. I gave this one man $500 because they said they can do it, and it was through, like, a good connect. And he tried for like three weeks And he was like Man I can't get I was like Man I know you probably never tried Nigga I know you tried Real talk He should get a refund Because he couldn't get it No, nah, he said he was trying He said he was trying So I really don't know So I really It's really my fault I should have been like I'm gonna give you 250 And if you can't get it Exactly But I gave it to him Because exactly. I was thirsty When it first got took Yeah that, How, how, cause, cause how that, many subscribers You had when they took it 580 579 or 5, 580 579 that must have hurt 5, 579,000 When how did you react the first day you found out that it got took? When it first got took, I was kind of like, well, first of all, it got took once, like three weeks before that. Mm. For, and I didn't know why. I'm like, what? And then like three days later, it popped back up. And I didn't okay. know until somebody hit me, like your page back. So I'm like, okay, boom, it was good. So then I had it for like three weeks after that. And I did somebody podcast. I was, oh, it was Funny Marco, man. Okay. And we did uh, an interview or something we was doing. I forgot. For some of his, you know, for some of his YouTube stuff. And when I went home, I had posted something, something. Uh, somebody DM me a video of like a old, like back in the old days. It looked like a man was cheating, and he was like, "This must be your daddy or granddad or something." Back, somebody just trying to be funny in the inbox, and I laughed at it. Like I'm for the post, it's funny because it wasn't nothing. All it was is one dude walked into this little shack. It was like a little shack, and it looked like in the middle of a plantation back when slaves was. You know what I'm saying? He went in there, and then three dudes walked in behind him. And then he just came running and bust out the shack like through the wall like a cartoon and yeah. ran. And they came chase him. And that was it. It was mm. just that. Then nothing happened. They never did nothing. And I posted it. And then like literally like three seconds later, it's like my my uh I mean three minutes later, my Instagram like refreshed and I'm like, oh here we go. It did like this little it was refresh thing and then it went white and it was like your page has been disabled. So I was like, I was hoping like, well, maybe they gonna give it back again in four days. Man, that was three, four months ago. I ain't seen that page. Since. So let me ask you this: so, so did they send? Because usually they send you an email. See, that's what and, I was and, wondering. See, they don't be replying back though. They sent me when they gave it back the first time. I didn't even know they had sent me an email. I knew my page came back and somebody called me said your page back. I thought they was playing. So, so they then, did. Then, send then I an checked email. my email and it was one in there that said we made a mistake. We your page is back. A Instagram said that. That's what they say. That's what they do. Like, if they take down, if I post a video on Instagram right now and they take it down and then you appeal it, if they uh, if they look at it, they'll put it back and say, we apologize, we made a mistake, we put it back up. If they don't appeal it, I mean, if they don't approve of it, then they'll just say, it's it went against our community guidelines, so the post is no longer available. So it counts as a strike, but... So, and, and that's the crazy part because I know when you first lost the page, I know I called you and I was like, man, mm -hmm. you know, just like, you know, how, and you was real humble about it. You was like, 
man, it just probably needed to happen so I could do this or do that. Like, yeah. like you was trying yeah. to figure out a way to make it uh, make sense. Because a lot of people, they, they start panicking, man. Like, I ain't, I'm doing this for real. Like, I ain't doing it just for fun. You feel what I'm saying? For clout. Like, clout come with it. I'm doing it. It's like, this is what I really want to do. This is my gift. Comedy. Right. Being funny is my natural gift. So run with it and be the best at, you know what I mean? So the thing is, I'm just happy that it happened. After I already kind of branded myself as like cheating as Myron and Fofo mm -hmm. or whatever they knew me as, you know what I'm saying? Versus me just starting. If I would have just started and y'all was like, "Who's this dude to keep getting caught cheating with this little gun?" and y'all right. ain't know who I was, and then my page got took, I would have faded away because y'all never got to know who I was. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was just like, only thing gonna happen is I just made a new page. People gonna slowly find me. But like, I wanted to know. The, okay, so when they took your page, those three, four days, because you make money off of. Um, mm -hmm. Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. So when it took the page for three, four days, and it came back and said, "Okay, um, sorry, our fault." Couldn't you say, "Okay, well, I, I normally would have made this amount of money within those three days, and you took it, so I couldn't make that money." Couldn't you get that money from the people, from them, from Instagram? No, they ain't gonna do it. I mean, if you had some type of, you probably had to have like a, lawyer a lawyer and do all that extra like that. stuff. But I was like, I was just got it back, so I didn't think that deep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if it would have been like. Especially because they said it's their fault. If it was something that, you know, like a strike or whatever, then I'd be like, well, yeah. you just have to suck it up. That's why you told me, because I remember we got an um, inbox from academics uh -huh. saying something about um, follow us or I'll follow you or something like that. And I, I thought it was really weird because nobody ever does that. And he was like, a lot of people have been getting those, and that's how your pages get They're too. hacking it. Yeah, when, you don't know. One, one thing... I don't click on no links, no nothing. Anybody right. send me something, talking about, I didn't have plenty of notifications in my email before, like, uh, you keep posting, on, from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that, like, you keep posting on here, your page is getting shut down 24 hours, click this link. I'm like, well, they're going to just shut my shit down. No I, clicking links. Yeah, because I'm not clicking on links, because I know a lot of people get get their page took like that. But That's you shared all. that video, and then all of a sudden, your page went down, so you think it has something to do with that video that you shared? Yeah, the video that I posted, right. I was already on Thin Nights with Instagram because it's like they flag, they was flagging so much stuff the same. They was flagging the same stuff that made me who I am. They started doing that, so I knew they was getting real strict. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I was seeing, before my page got took, I knew a lot of other influencers who pages had got taken. You know what I'm saying? Not what? just OnlyFans girls, like comedians. Yeah. And then mine got took, and I'm like, it shot me like, damn, my page really gone too. Then I knew a lot of comedians after me just on social media pages. They was like, man, they got me too. A girl yeah, called got me Country Wayne. Same time they got you. No, Wayne Page ain't never get taken. Uh, didn't they get him? Mm -hmm. They didn't? They I got Lil Duval. Got. Mm -hmm. They did. That's who it was. Lil, Lil, Lil Duval. Duval. Lil Duval Page got took before did he they got take it back. It, they they gave it back, huh? Nah, he got a difference. It's called like Rich Broke or something. But his Lil Duval Page ain't up. But wow. if, they're, if they were getting strict because of what you do and you create another page, don't you think that you're still going to still do what you do? It's going to still yeah, be but the same I feel problem. like they, it's like, you got to think, okay, so I had an Instagram page since 2012. Obviously, I wasn't doing comedy or none of that back then. I just had it because Instagram was, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't start popping on social media until like 2018. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like that's where it started at. You right. know what I'm saying? But even from 2018 to 20, 2022, you got to think that, you know how many times they didn't took stuff down and stuff like that. But I already knew they was getting streaked because they started putting all this stuff in the comments. Like, if you if you post something, not put in the comments, like, boy, you ugly as hell. You my friend, I can say that. They'll be like... It's, it's bullying. Something, it's like a thing that... I forgot what it say. Something will pop up and be like, uh, this comment, do you want to post this comment? It goes against... It looks similar to what somebody posted. Basically mm -hmm. saying, like, if you post this at your own risk, you can take down, it's a strike against you. Or you can exit it out and don't post it. You know what I mean? Like, I've been seeing that. I'm like, they ain't used to do this. I yeah. noticed something that because I be um, inboxing one of my um, my friends, and I see where it says, it, and it doesn't do it on on Terry Cherry. And when I inbox Terry Cherry, something pops up at the bottom of it to say, you know, be careful and such. And I'm like, I'm not saying nothing crazy. I'm like, I, it doesn't pop up in anybody else's DM that I DM. So I'm like, why is that? I don't understand. Well, they started they start getting real strict, man. Like this. I popped on Facebook first before I went to Instagram. That's why I was doing millions and millions of views that were cheating mm -hmm. ass Myra. Way before four four any of that cheating ass Myra. And them same type of videos, I'd be scared to post them same type of videos on Facebook now because I'd be like, they flag everything. Well, I, even YouTube, that's what uh, Marvelous Jarvis was just on here and he said that um, he was he was getting good money, making great waves mm -hmm. on YouTube. And then all of the videos that he was posting, he said all of a sudden he looked back one day and all of them was red. The one they had already approved. See, that's, so, that's, so, so they changed their mind about how they was yeah, accepting they, they, material. But the, the messed up part about it, though, man, is like you, they'll take your. It's like they got a. I don't know. Like they got a bucket of, of people they trying to not <laughs> let grow no more because 
it's weird because they'll take you know my videos is fake. People don't they weren't knowing that like the cheating ass mind and you know, I be doing that stuff. People was thinking it was real. That's why they were going viral. But it was like they was they was like taking stuff down off my page and then I go and scroll down my news feeds and I see. People getting shot at, people getting robbed, uh, fights, and it's up with mm -hmm. six million views. And I'm like, how the hell is this video up? But mine get took down. They, they was in videos sometimes get to like 400,000 views, a million views, and then taking it down. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at a point now, I didn't got blocked so many times on Facebook, man. And I'm still monetized, but it be messing up your money. But I get blocked. I didn't got blocked so many times now that any mistake I make now is, is always a 30 day block guarantee. Like, it ain't like no warnings. It's just like if I post something right now and they take it down, 30 days. So people like you, people like Boosie, people like um, who've been going through things like this, what do you think a solution could be? Man, I'm not finna, I'm not finna, I feel like they're trying to water me down or something like that. I'm not finna change my content for them. No, I'm not know. talking about changing content. Maybe um, somebody needs to start a whole new page. Like no, like, yeah, you can, but all I did, all I told myself was, so with cheating ass Myron, what made it so real was because, you know, obviously the girl behind the camera, she be talking, you know, women, when women mad, they're going to say anything they can to hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. And then when dudes lying, we, we we sound stupid. We say the dumbest stuff. We don't even realize what we saying. But we also cuss each other out. That's what made them think it was real. You know what I'm saying? But all I would do now differently is like, I would just probably cut down on a lot of the cussing. Because yeah. the cussing don't really make it funny. At this point, I'm at a point now where everybody know for the most part that it's fake unless it goes stupid viral and somebody don't know me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But the cussing ain't going to make or break it. But I think like me saying nigga bitch, and all that extra stuff back to back with us cussing each other out. It's like they be, it's like they trying to flag all that. And they want to prove that for monetization on Facebook. So it's like, and I like money. So if I, if I, can't, it up. If I can't cuss, I'm just ain't going to cuss. I right. cuss in certain stuff, but that's it. So is, is Facebook a place that you could rely on that now, that, that, that now that all this has happened, did it still stabilize for you or, or is it, is it how is Facebook now? Because Facebook. of all the other TikToks and all the other stuff. Yeah, but no, Facebook, Facebook actually still lit. Like, okay, I started on Facebook and then, you know, Instagram was lit. So they was like, You need to get on Instagram. I got on Instagram, then once I got on Instagram, it, it shot up. You know what I'm saying? My following shot up and then that's when celebrities, you know, the you that's grew where up be looking at. at that's where they right. was the ones that started reaching out to me and stuff. And I'm like, uh, they ain't never say nothing to me on Facebook and I had way more views on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But on Instagram it was that, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like what happened? Oh, <laughs> I, I must have walked away from the mic I'm like what happened <laughs> No but Man I done forgot the damn question What you asked me I done forgot it too Oh Facebook. you old ass nigga <laughs> talking about Facebook Hold on can I cuss on here I yeah, ain't trying to cuss a lot I ain't gonna cuss a lot yeah, But no, I'm just ahead, talking man, about man. Facebook Oh yeah No Facebook actually Okay that's what we were saying So Facebook was lit and then they were saying Instagram. And once I got on Instagram, I started feeling like Facebook was like, nah, I don't want to be on there. It's all old people on there, which it is. Yeah. It's the facts. Like, they be like, well, I don't got Instagram. I got Facebook. It's a bunch of them on there. But then they're also, there's big money going on I, listen, in there because I see people I, on there. Listen, I was going to say this. No, no. Facebook is definitely lit. YouTube is lit. TikTok, all of this stuff is. But the thing is, I feel like Facebook, that's what them grown people are. They're going to buy them mm -hmm. tickets. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. TikTok, yeah. you can make money on the TikTok app, but all them kids, the they, kids just, they just they just want to see you when they see you in person. They want you to, they like the faux photo. They don't, <laughs> they don't know nothing about cheating. So I'm walking around doing this all day. Like, you know what I'm saying? On the kids, <laughs> do the faux photo. You know what I'm saying? So, but it make they day, so I do it. But like Facebook is like the, the grown crowd is like we finna come. Don't get me wrong, it's on Instagram too, but it's more on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why Wayne killing man. Wayne is killing off of like Facebook. all social media, but Facebook, like it's crazy. Wow, and crazy! So how, my daughter don't even do Facebook anymore. She's strictly TikTok, TikTok and, and Instagram. some Instagram. Younger kids are straying from Instagram nowadays. It's a straight TikTok. Man, you can eat. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. You can eat off social media. People will be trying to say you can't, nigga. Wayne is a believer. He, he, you watch Wayne and see how much money he make. Wayne doing shows. I know he got other stuff going on and stuff. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He do shows. He did some acting and stuff. But Wayne is just. Making a, a living off of like social media. Okay, bro. I'm glad you said that show. because um, Faison Love came on our platform and he mentioned um, Wayne and said because Faison Love he gets residuals from all of his comedy shows that he's done before and he's still getting it even today. But he's saying because he's like, how can he be a, um, meaning Wayne be a um, millionaire from what from Facebook? Show me the money. Show me that because Google can say whatever, but is he on Forbes or is he on? You know, See, but it, it don't. But that's because right, I feel like he. It's like some. It's damn near like in a way like independent. You know what I'm saying? It's like you trying to say Dolph ain't have a million dollars or something because he or whoever was they say they was independent and went with a big label. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just like how you market yourself and how you brand yourself. 
once he realized like he can get monetized, like I pay. This is the thing. I pay attention to all my. I don't really consider it competition because I ain't trying to be better than nobody. I'm just gonna be the best Myra. But right. I do pay attention to how people maneuver and I soak up game. Like okay, well if Wayne like I know this man making all this money off of social media. You know what I'm saying. And it's like, boom, it's like, if he can do it, I know I, I can do the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to let nobody tell me I can't make it. Y'all think y'all can make money on social media. You got to get on this stage. Yeah, I'm going to get on stage. I'm going to make that money. I want money for movies. I want money from social media. I want money from, I want, however I can make the money, I want it. I think bridging the gap, I mean, those guys are from a different era. So when you look at, I mean, when, when Faison came out, hell, he, he was on Apollo with Steve Harvey. See, man, they, you know they, they, that's a different world, man, they, than what you guys are. Yeah, bro, they way older than us. That's why. Yeah. So it's yeah, like the same They no mad. Way. That's what I'm saying. And I rock, and I rock with Faze and all of them. You right. know what I'm saying? I would never throw shade Steve to them. I just, I just hate when they get mad at social media comedians because we blew up from sitting at home with our phones. We can't help it. Yeah. But that's the era we in. You know what I mean? Y'all had to go city to city, state, to whatever, stage to stage. That was y'all. That was y'all grind. That that's was not our era. grind. But a lot of older people, a lot of older, um, the comedians, rappers, and stuff cannot adjust to the new wave. So a lot of times that's their why career they're in. But at the same time, you got to think about it. Just like how um, we've heard so many people say, for the newer generation, they need to always look back at the older generation and give them homage. You know, you got to know where you're coming from before you know where you, you're gonna go. So each one help one. That's why I always look on the king of R and B, how he helped. Um, is it uh, Charlie Wilson? Yeah, and you talking about uh, R. Kelly? And you can yeah. say his name. R. Kelly. No, <laughs> king, thought, of, no. king of R and B. When she said King of R and B, then she said I ain't have Charlie. You said Charlie Wilson? Yeah. No, I'm like she can't be talking about Jacquees. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I know. No, I rock no. with Jacquees, but I'm saying when she said King of R and B, then he called himself the King of R and B. So when she said Charlie Wilson, I was like, I know Jacquees ain't that dang on Charlie Wilson. R. Kelly is the only King of R and B for me. Okay. He the only King of R and B for me. R. Kelly is so R. Kelly basically. But he reached back and. Helped him to you know come into the newer generation and, and Ronald Isley and Ronald Isley and that's See, what I think more of this generation need to help the older so ones. So now to listen, cross but over. this is the thing though: how can you help somebody that's already coming into our era frustrated about us being like you know what I'm saying catching the way that we were. I don't mind helping nobody. So if you older, like if Face on anybody was like, let's do a video. Why would nigga? I still respect y'all from when y'all was doing what y'all was doing. So it's like if I rock, if I don't rock with you, then I just don't rock with you. Mm-hmm. Right? But if I rock with you and was a fan of you growing up. I would love to do a video. Like, come on, let's do one. But the thing is, it don't, just because you do one video don't mean nothing. You still got to be consistent on your own. Yeah, I yeah. can do a video with them. Bubba Doug could do a video. Wayne could do a video. Desi could do a video. Funny Marco, any of us can do a video with them, and then that's all they do. It's like, that don't mean your social media going to grow. We going to gain because they're going to be like, oh, man, he would face on. You know what I'm saying? They're, yeah, they're just because of who he is, but like he won't get nothing. Like You got to have your own niche as well, man. I think, I think that they can get it easily if they just... If they wanted to do it and they, they went at it like that, they it's don't. consistency. It's all type of val, you know, valued issues that go with that. Like it's consistency more than anything. You guys are so consistent. You guys Man. are funny. You guys are you 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 coming at them every day. You got your fan base is going down. No, you have no. That's the thing. They don't understand that. Man, social media. They be so mad. Like we just won it overnight. Like man, that took time, bro. Like I didn't just become, I didn't just make a video and become cheap, Myra. Man, I was doing video like two years before anybody. I went, got a viral video. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, once I once I got the viral video, I was smart enough to run with it. Like yeah. oh, this, I looked at the comments. Like oh, they think this is real. That's why they watching it. Okay, yeah. let me do another one. I did another one. It hit some millions. Oh, they still. Oh man, I'm finna do this. They people meeting you like man. It took me about seven videos to realize this was fake, and I kept seeing the same person. I said, I mean, I was doing a hell of a job of acting. <laughs> So it's for real. So Jordan, Jordan, uh, the, in, your partner Jordan Jackson. I yeah. seen you on YouTube with him, and y'all was yeah. talking about your page being taken. Uh-huh. That's how I really found out. I'm like, yeah, what? <clears throat> but anyway, did you? Um, okay, he said that you can go viral. He can go viral. Once you go viral, you can always go viral. Nah, see, see, Jordan older than me too. It ain't no, <laughs> no. Listen, that's my dog, but ain't no. Your wife can make a video right now and it go viral. It's going to go, if she don't keep making content, it's going to go viral, it's going to have its course, and then they're going to forget. You know how I know? Because in 2014, I had a viral video on accident. I wasn't even thinking about videos then. I had this, uh, I was doing I was doing stand-up back then, and that, that Young Thug song came out, that uh, that uh, Lifestyle song. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knew what he was saying. Right? And everybody was saying, you know, everybody kept saying back then, him and Rich Homie was gay and all that, right? Yeah. 
So I was hanging with my people one time. We was just drinking, having fun. And, it, you know, a lot of your stuff just come to your head just randomly. And I was like, let me write this in my phone. But I had to switch the words up, right? And I did it at a comedy show. And I was like, man, y'all don't know. Like, say, y'all don't know what he was saying. They was like, they, like, no. Nah. And I'm like, I said, he was like, lick the tip, top tip of the dick, and that's just the beginning. <laughs> right? Look, no, listen, listen. I swear to God, right? And I did this is in Milwaukee. I did that joke on stage, and they, they was like, man, that's a nationwide, that's a national joke. But I wasn't cheating at my, I wasn't doing no videos. I wasn't even thinking about none of that yet in 2014. So I was doing stand up though, and they was like, that joke was funny, right? So then I was picking my son up from school one day, and I was like. Like, man, I'm finna put this, I'm finna, I, I recorded myself saying it. Like, I'm finna put this on Facebook, man, because somebody, other people gotta hear this in Milwaukee. I'm thinking about my city. Yeah, other yeah, people yeah. gotta hear this, man, because this is funny. So I broke it down. I was playing it, broke it down, playing it, broke it down. Like, you know, broke the song down the lyrics, and I posted it on Facebook. I didn't even know it went viral to somebody. One of my homies hit me. I'm at work in a factory. He hit me up like, he said, you, he said why y'all, uh, they ain't tell me you went viral. I said, who went viral? They said you. And, you know, it was like 300 some thousand views on Facebook. I said, so I didn't know that You know what I'm saying Then like That was I posted it Monday And that was by Wednesday Then by Friday It was like on Worldstar And my, my sister Baby daddy hit me like Man you on Worldstar This is way before All this stuff right yeah. So back then Nigga I thought I made it right Me yeah. and my best friend We at work We like man I said I'm finna quit This over there. <laughs> this, this a real story But I said I'm finna quit I said the book is finna come They finna come looking for me I know they coming Cause I went viral right I, I thought it was that imp, that simple You know what I'm saying I had no other videos Nothing So I had a lot of inboxes And a whole bunch of stuff With people mad uh, Girls sending stuff I had a girl sending me Some stuff with her uh, Fuck another girl with a strap on I said oh this the life right here Like you know, <laughs> Listen I ain't had nothing going on though But I was like damn But that shit died down so fast Like I gave it like a couple months of it And I was excited Then it died down right So I was like You know what I'm gonna make videos And I still didn't do it Until then like 2017 That's three years later I was like man And it was on my mind That whole time But that job was so good I wasn't gonna quit that job 2017 I was like You know I'm gonna try this again So I tried it But this time I knew I said if I get a viral video This time I'm gonna take it I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I keep stuff going So when they come to my page They got something to watch so I was making plenty of videos, man. I was popping my phone up on all type of stuff, just doing stupid stuff, just, and they weren't even going uh, uh, 37 views, six views. Seven, I didn't even give a damn. I just wanted them to keep <laughs> seeing me on their timeline. Yeah. And then one day I randomly woke up and I made that cheating ass my video getting put out the house with the dog in the rain and it went, it hit a million in one day. And I was like, I woke up like, oh shit, got him. So I looked at them comments. They was like, you need to leave her. And he ain't shit. And I'm like, oh, they think this real. So I let it, I let it build up even more. It got it more views over that. And then I was posting a video like once a week on Facebook because I was letting it like accumulate. Boom. Yeah. Then I drop another one, cheating like just anywhere, whatever you know. And it was real. And that and that was going. It was like three million. Every video was three million, two million, four million, five million. Then they put me on ridiculousness and all this. I was like. I said, I finally caught my niche. I knew it. I was, I was happy. I wasn't making no money, but shit, the cloud yeah. was coming I with I was about you know to saying? ask you that. So <laughs> I, at that point, does Facebook reach out to you? How do you monetize? I remember you told us See. about the girl the last time, but See. how did you re figure out, figure See, out back, that aspect? Okay, so back then, I didn't even, I don't even know if they was monetized. I don't even think they was monetized people back then. If they did, I didn't know. I was just happy that I was going viral, and I was just, at that time, I was just trying to be seen, my face. And people was like, you need to watermark your videos. And I was like, hell no. Nah. Because if I watermark it, they're going to start knowing they fake. It's every time they see it, they see Myron. Because I wasn't even cheating as Myron at first. I yeah, was just a nigga Myron. getting caught. Yeah. Somebody caught. Let me tell you how God works. Some random lady, Tamara, Tamara, whatever her name is, she was from Philly. Had, I don't remember if she DM me or emailed me. She was like, hey, I've been looking. I think she DM me on Instagram. She was like, hey, I've been trying to find your page on Instagram because I see you go viral on Facebook. And I, uh, it shocked me that you got 1,200 followers. She was like, your marketing sucks. This is what she told me. <laughs> and I was like, I ain't marketing shit. I said, I'm just going viral. Like, I ain't giving a damn about it. I wasn't thinking no business, no nothing. I was just happy that I finally found my niche. And she was like, well, I do marketing and I can help you, whatever. So she asked my password on my Instagram and all that stuff like that. And I'm like, what's she going to take, 1,200 followers? Like, what's she going to do with that? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I started... Um, she had me sending her all my videos, that my most recent videos that was going viral on Facebook. And she was posting them on Instagram with good captions because all that mattered in the hashtags, stuff that I didn't know. Yeah. She was doing that. And it was so crazy because I was getting on Instagram. I probably used to get like seven views, six, because I wasn't on there like that, little numbers. And when she started posting, I was getting a thousand views. So that now that ain't shit. But back then, I was, I was like, man, I got a thousand views now. You know what I'm saying? Then it started growing. 
it started growing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, but the fact that that woman came out of nowhere, then she was like, you need a name that fits what you're doing. And she was like, looking at your videos, basically, you cheating all the time. Wow. And I was like, I never thought of none of that shit. So I changed cheating. my name from, my name was Myron <clears throat> underscore Jewel. I changed my name to Cheating Ass Myron. And it, it's catchy. You can't forget that. No, no, you, can't, no, no. you can't forget it. It's too catchy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But it's just that when I'm about your age, like 60, 17 years old, they ain't going to respect it. Well, at the end of the day, <laughs> you, you know, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you got you to make him respect it, though. Yeah, yeah. You cheat no, ass, no, Myron. Nigga. Your, your brand is dope, man. Uh, uh, hey, how, how you and get hooked up? I was about to ask yeah. that. You took my question. There you go. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah let's talk about the fact that the, the T.I. situation, when, when I seen you, this was after your page got taken. What, what, uh, no, when I was, my page, I still had my page when I was uh, doing the pilot. Partially? What, what, uh, when, when you see me on set with Tip and all yes. that? Yes. No, I still had my page. My page got took while I was on set, and I got it back. That's what I'm, I seen it, it leave. Back. Yeah, I, I got it. it back, and then it got took again. Okay, so what was what was that all about? Can you talk about the T.I. and you and the on set Oh, stuff? yeah, yeah, so Tip. Tip, uh, I posted a video on social media, on Instagram, where I was, uh, what was I doing? Oh, the girl was twerking on my FaceTime. And, you know, FaceTime is Siri. But I was like, you know, the, my girl came and caught me down there and I see me, got the girl twerking on the thing. And uh, she said, she started snapping. And I'm like, I was like, man, shut your dumb ass up. This Alexa, you know, I'm saying Alexa. Alexa, make it <laughs> clap. Alexa, you know, that ain't on the phone, though. Just dumb shit like that. So, you gotta watch it, but anyways, I was doing running with that stuff, and we snapped and stuff. But Ti was in the comments, but my homie uh, Marco hit me, a funny Marco hit me. Yeah. He's like, he said, "You see Ti in your comments?" And I'm like, "What?" I went and scrolled and found it. Like, oh, tip, tip, watching me. Like, I didn't know, right? <laughs> so I'm like, boom. But he never said nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just that. And then uh, I say, like a couple months later, he DM me and was like, he had a project for me. This ain't this was this wasn't for uh what we just filmed. Mm -hmm. This was for uh. I forgot what it was, but I was, he he told me, what's my number? I gave my number, he hit me up, and it was for, I think, oh, his son, Damani, Damani, one of them. Yeah, yeah. He was on a music video. He said, I want you to be a part of a woo-woo. And then I was like, all right, just let me know. I was out of time to time. But then he said, hit me when I get in town. I never heard nothing about it, so I left it there. Then the second time, he called me, and I was out of town again. But I was doing some shows, and he said, he said, where you at, King? You know, I got something for you. I was like... It's like, man, I'm out of town on the road. He's like, all right, just hit me when you get in. So now I'm like, man, I done missed a man twice, man. But he paying attention, nigga. He out working. He see I'm out working and I just saying, you know. So I'm like, damn, I done missed his man twice. So then I was in uh, Charlotte doing somebody's music video and I was on, on set and uh, Tip FaceTime me and I was like, hold on. Like, you know, I went to answer. I ain't know what he wanted. He's like, I got a project, man. Me, you, DC, Lil Duvall, uh, you know, naming everybody, be Simone, all this boo And I'm like, I right, bet. So. Two weeks later, he was like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, come audition. So the crazy thing is, the day he was like, you know, they see on videos, but they still need to see, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, come, I want you to come audition for this part. He said, I know you're going to kill it, though, because this, this, it fits you perfect, your energy and everything. I, you funny as hell, naturally. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the, I mean, I went to the uh, audition. The crazy part is they sent me the script the night before the, uh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't, I'm like, I looked at that shit and I read it and seen the story, but I'm like, and I ain't prepared for this shit. So when I got there, I'm just like, I ain't even act like I know this. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I went in, they like he tipped like you ready and stuff. They had the producers and all them back there watching. This is my first audition. I ain't never auditioned for shit. So I go in there, I'm reading this shit. I'm like, uh, yeah, the uh, put the water down, like whatever. I don't know what it was saying, but it was. I'm reading it like that, and Tip looking at me. I said. I said, look, man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know this shit, man. Like, no, hey, she gave me the script last night, told me I ain't need to know it, man. What's up? And then they laughed at that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was dead ass serious. Though. I was serious. I said, but I can't read. I said, hey, man, I feel like I'm reading. I don't know this shit. <laughs> she gave me the script last night, told me I ain't need to know it. He said, who said it? I said, her right there, because it was a glass thing. Her. <laughs> And they was laughing. He was like, man, he said, bro, he said, I, need, he said, I know you're going to kill it. He said, just take it home and you read it and we're going to do table reads and, and we're going to figure, you know, because everybody do table reads and we pull. Yeah. We got the table reads. I, was coming, I got there. I seen everybody that I know there. I know everybody already when I get there. And we do table reads and stuff. Then we started filming. And everything was good. Then he came out to some comedy shows, took me out there. Shout out to Tip though, man, because he, he. Wait a minute, so, wait a minute. I don't say, the nigga doing stand up now. No, yeah, but he wasn't then. No, I seen the nigga. I, he wasn't I seen, then. The nigga is doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. No, listen. I, I, this nigga a good rapper. Yeah. Now, this nigga a good rapper. 
No, no, this it. stand up stuff. Now listen, I ain't see it. I, I, I can't listen. I, now this ain't no nothing to play with. Listen, no, I know, but you, you gotta jump. To, you gotta jump you in the. Motivated. You motivated one no, of y'all. Not, not, not just, no, not y'all. just me. Not just me, because it's a lot of comedians. Lil Duval, that's his boy. I met Lil Duval but with him. It's a lot of comedians that he was around. That was on set though that he rocked with so too. After that show, he decided he just gonna. He's just gonna. He going for it. No, that ain't why. That ain't why. Hey man, look, I ain't got nothing to say bad about you. Cause look, no, not like that. Not like that. I ain't kissing my ass, but the tip. Look. I did a show I did a <laughs> look, I did a comedy show Listen though Bro listen what I'm saying I did a comedy show right I did a comedy show It was like Open mic night I just went Cause I'm like Let me work on some stuff right And it was one of them clubs That when you go in These niggas ain't really trying to You down there gotta go in there And just be yourself I went in there like I had so I'm like, Let me try to try this stuff But I got in I seen the vibe I'm like And it ain't finna put me right up Because I'm cheating at Mario So they be like We gonna save you for loud We'll put these people up so I go up and they was giving the host a hard time and she's funny as hell. Erica Dutch is funny as hell. They was just one of them type of crowds. So when I go up, I'm like, oh, this is my type of crowd because, nigga, I like to just talk shit. Nigga, yeah. I'm witty as fuck. I can roast like a motherfucker. Niggas don't know that until <laughs> you put me in the corner. Like, nigga, no, this is what I do. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm naturally funny more oh, than I, I know am. it. You've been roasting with no, me I all day. Up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that what make that's what make a nigga like me fun and Bubba Dub like cause it's it's a natural you can tell when something natural when it's it's like it's a force you feel what I'm saying yeah, body yeah. language energy the way a nigga talk then you meet a nigga in person you be like oh this how this nigga really talk like you feel what I'm saying but some dude some dude that was just at the bar talking to me like the bartender knew me right and she was like I seen that my who he was like who's you the dude was right and I said she started explaining you don't know who that is who then he was like oh he could be you know niggas get capped like they know he's like oh yeah oh, oh, oh. let me get you a drink buy me a drink he talking to me like bro keep doing your thing woo woo this dude I get on stage a table in front of us had been messing with the host uh, like the, just giving people a hard time so I rock with them and then it was like I was I chewed them like I fucked them up so bad. It was like the whole it was like the whole club was just like ah, like it was loud loud because I was <laughs> hey, in my yeah I was in my natural I was in a zone like hey y'all done got me here I ain't getting out so I tried to get into one of my jokes after that like because I had them so high I was like okay I'm gonna do this snitching joke you know so I got this joke about snitching you know what I'm saying but it's it's a twist to it so I'm doing that I didn't know this why he got mad though you know what I'm saying I hear him say like. No, that ain't right, man. That 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 ain't that ain't real. Something like that. And I'm thinking like I'm thinking he talking about because I was roasting them, but them them they happy though. They just laughing back with me while I'm roasting them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking like I said he with y'all like what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like he like uh they like nah we don't know him whatever. I'm like what you on, bro? Like you know what I'm saying? This I'm, I'm on stage, but I'm like I'm still I'm like what you on? I'm like well what you on, dog? Like you just on? I was like you know I'm on stage. I don't give a damn. I'm like bro you just on my dick at the bar, nigga. Like you talking? You know what I'm saying? Now you want to act tough? Like what you on, right? And I, I can't hear him, but I see him like all this shit. Right? So I seen Tip get up from him and Tiny was there. Tip got up and go went and talked to him. I don't know what he said. And then right after that, Erica the one that hosted, she was looking at me doing this like. Like basically, I like wrap it up because it was getting out. Of, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was quick though. So I get off stage and I go over there and uh, walk by Jesse. Mind you, I'm with Jesse, so yeah. see, we we doomed if something happened. Jesse, <laughs> we doomed. <laughs> hey, I'm with Jesse with the crutch. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, but we y'all, doomed. I'm gonna stop down. And now Jesse, get on the ground. Uh, and give me that dude. stick. He got, he got a stick. You the stick. Yeah, but he can't swing it fast. He got to just. He just got to bar up and get me the it. stick. He can poke That's too slow, man. Hey. I seen him do it before. <laughs> Hey, Jesse, you you lay on the ground, ball up, give me the stick, and let me baseball back these niggas away from us or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when I got off, he was just like, uh, Tip was like, hey, he with us. He was like, oh, my bad, Tip, man. He just he just turned to a whole other person, whatever, right? So yeah. Tip go back and sit by Tiny, and he like, he said, hey, man, we cool? I'm looking at him like, bro, I'm not finna shake your hand. Nigga, after you just act like that. Either. I'm not gonna do it, bro, because I ain't no, I ain't the toughest person in the world, and I ain't trying to be tough, but if you, I feel like it was disrespect, bro, but you only trying to respect me now, because Tim said yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not finna shake your hand like, oh, it's all good, bro. Like, no, that not now, now, now I'm a sucker. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, no, bro, I'm not gonna shake your hand. Even if Tip didn't do that, and you did that to me, and I got off stage I'm not finna shake your hand Like it's all good bro You was drunk I don't know you Yeah 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 so, I'd do that to you If I knew you And you was drunk And you was acting A certain way that night yeah. I'd be mad Like bro what you on Then I get off I'm like bro you good But you was tripping last night bro Yeah but I you don't, don't know, know that you, I don't cat. owe you nothing exactly. yeah. So, no, so Tip never knew the cat And that's No that. Tip didn't know him either Tip just went over there And said it Like he just went I didn't ask Tip to do that Tip just seen that dude was. You know what I'm saying And yeah he just went And squashed it He ain't tried to I thought to you were finna tell me Tip went on stage after that No no man But that's why I Respected that because he ain't had to do it, but I wouldn't worry about dude anyway. He was too drunk, bro. He was done. One but hit. see, that, that's the <laughs> game. Like, dude, don't, don't you, <laughs> that ain't your first time having an issue with somebody. Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, so at the end of the day, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you just you know how to handle that. it. You do. Hey, that. How, how do you avoid them issues? See, the, I don't think you do. No, 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 no. You can't. The thing is, 
Like when you be witty and you naturally funny, you 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 could be in your set just talking yeah. about stuff that you plan on talking about. But then, but then once you once you get to talking, man, some people can get offended. Like, like I could say something to your wife, like something simple. Like say y'all in the front, and you just a bitter dude and dude be like, oh god damn, light skin look good in the mother. You like, hey bro, go on. And nigga be like, look at dog, he mad in the mother. Like just, it's simple <laughs> stuff, right? And nigga, yeah, and he gets so mad, like no, bro, I'm for real, bro. All that you be like, man, let me go on here if I get my ass whooped. Like you just gotta find a way to fix it and get away from yeah, it. So yeah. it's like boom, so you get back in your set. Like I mean. I can't say it right now because it'd be natural jokes yeah, that come yeah, off my head to yeah. do it in the in the moment. But it's like, boom. But sometimes me, I'll keep going if a nigga just like, I'll be like, I can read energy very well. Anybody like, oh, you waited, just talking loud. Anybody waiting on you outside after the club? After the was like, nigga, I'm, I'm If they you. did, they probably waited too long because I don't go out right at the club. I wait. <laughs> so he probably went outside mad. He probably went outside mad and it was niggas yeah. after me. I ain't going to the show over. So you sitting outside waiting on me. And you, didn't, you, you know, you ever been so mad that you... Drive, you could drive somewhere, wait a couple of days. When I see this nigga, I'm fucking him up. I can but tell you exactly how three weeks later, you ain't even mad no more. You see yeah. this nigga, you like, man, I don't be mad in three weeks if mm-hmm. I was mad today. They go outside and smoke a blunt and wait on your legs in the car. They get lazy and shit, like, man, fuck this nigga. Yeah, this nigga did it before. <laughs> this nigga did it before. Look, he did it before. <laughs> Hey, I know. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't, hey, if you sitting outside waiting on me after the club, bro, like if I come outside, you like, what's up now? I'll be like, uh. Yeah, it's time to go. Yeah. I this nigga. Let me ask you this about like building your teams. Like, uh, it's, when you went to Atlanta, uh, coming from Milwaukee and just going all the way down there, did you have a team when you went there mm-hmm. or you just built that team? Because I see you with, I see, yeah, like, it's the big Mexican dude. It's, y'all all, I see Jesse. You know, I see yeah. all y'all just link so, up the girls. How do how do you put that? How do you become a part of what they're doing, or how do y'all even? So it? I feel like like with me, like I'm gonna keep saying when you naturally funny because that means a lot. When yeah, you naturally funny, bro. Like you can adjust and work with anybody. Okay, if you script it funny, you gotta find certain people to watch work with. Like I can make something funny with you. you what know, about the midget? Yeah, you know, Bubba the the midget. Anybody? I'm just saying because I know how to adjust to whatever it is you bring to the table. When you script it funny, you just gotta try to figure it out, like why it's going. Like I don't care what you do, they be like, hey, "Can you do a video with so and so?" I don't know this person from a can of paint, but I don't need to do is talk to him for a second, just see where the energy at. Like you got energy, or you like real quiet, whatever. I'm a, I'm gonna carry it anyways, regardless. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't saying it's gonna go viral because it, it depends on the person too. But it's like when I got down there, I, I really just upped and left Milwaukee. Just left. Yeah, cause somebody the, the dude when I first moved down there, his uh, shout out to Terrell, man. Like he was from my hometown, moved to Atlanta, but we wasn't even friends in Atlanta. We just crossed paths and see each other. But he kept telling me, "You need to move to Atlanta." He said, "You a star. You need to move to Atlanta." And you know, I ain't gonna leave my son. I'm like, "Nah, I ain't gonna go." So then he asked me like he asked me once. And then I say like three years later, he asked me again, like, "Hey, Super Bowl weekend, you need to move down here, man." He said, "I got a crib. You can sleep on the couch. Get yourself together, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Boom." And I was like. Fuck it You know what I'm saying I talked to my son I ain't care what nobody else thought You know what I'm saying I'm talking to him I'm like he he fine with it You know what I'm saying I know he didn't really want me to go Because I didn't really want to go But it was like He watched me grind in Milwaukee So he he knows Yeah and then I was doing it So I came And I was sleep on I was sleep on that uh, couch For like Man it was crazy I was sleep on that couch For like six months I ain't had no key to the nigga crib I was starting getting irritated with him I ain't got no key I wasn't getting no, I had one girl I was hitting down there and I was like, come pick me up. And she was far as hell, so I had to wait for what she wanted to do. I was mad. I was like, <laughs> couldn't get numb, man. I'm like, I need some coochie, man. She like, I'm tired. Man, you better come fuck me in the car. <laughs> like something, man. Like you got me sitting up here waiting on you because I, I can't bring nobody in this blue house because I'm on the couch. You feel what I'm saying? I'm down here cheating ass my on the couch because they already think, you know, I was, you know. But it was like that happened. And then it was times I was stuck out and this nigga at work, not answering. I slept in the car one time. My, home, my homie was supposed to drive back to Milwaukee. And he couldn't drive back to Milwaukee tonight because the, the dude house I was saying he wasn't answering the phone on the door. So he was like, bro, I can't leave you nowhere, man. So we slept in his car across the street. And in the morning, dude called me back. I was mad in the motherfucker. So Florida or Memphis, they think I'm from. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> hey, so let me ask you this, man. So how long does it take you to put together those, like, the skits? Like, like just the small little, bam, I'm going to do something. Most, uh, with 90, 90% of the time I do skits, man, it be like spirit of the moment. Bro, it's different. It ain't different. thought through. It's like... It's like I think of something, I execute it, and it's just done. Like, it's different. The, yeah, the raw, uncut comedy, like, for me, and I'm sure with him, too, is like, it's just like, that's the funniest stuff. Bro, though, when you start going in slow motion like oh, that. Oh, so the fofo, look. The fofo th- thing. People and, and, don't know, man. The fofo, I've been doing that. It, the slow motion the fofo was two different things, but I've been doing that since high school. So I used to be, like, in the car with my homies and stuff like that, because I was silly as hell, and... 
I remember I was dri- I was driving. I had a Dodge, like a 1994 Dodge Intrepid, man. I'm driving it. Whoa. And I'm driving. <laughs> Look at dog. It don't matter. It was my first car. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I know about it. Look, I'm driving on the, uh, not the expressway, but you know, like a busy street, just a busy street. And I'm driving slow as hell. And I had that Mike Jones playing, ah, stay flossing with that candy paint. And I'm just like moving slow, right? Like I'm driving. I got the car doing like. Five miles an hour. I'm driving so cars wide past. Like I was that goofy, bro. Like, <laughs> and my homie on the passenger side cracking up, dog. You know what I'm saying? You killing him. So that was because I was in the zone for real. I was serious. Like he doing it. I pointed at him, like looking at him crazy. Like what the fuck you laughing at? But I, you know, I was having, having fun. Having a good time. So in the fofo, we never called that the fofo. They used to, to do the twister. Cause in high school they used to write. I never. I don't know how I can do that. I just did it one day. And every time I did it around somebody that didn't know me, like, dog, I never knew I said fofo that much. Dog with the fofo, motherfucker went around with the, with the dog with the fofo. They said, and with a beat, anybody that ever heard it for the first time, they was like, oh, he, they like, man, he getting off. Well, and yeah. all my friends be cracking up, like, he ain't said nothing. nothing. I, Cause I ain't said nothing. <laughs> but, look, <laughs> but look, I ain't said nothing, right? So when I finally did it on the internet with the sing, you know, with Kaylin Castle, shout out to Kaylin Castle, man, cause she can sing for real, that's what she do. I just put the two together. I just went in slow motion. And I got a little cap gun because I knew it wasn't a fofo. So I knew that was gonna <laughs> I knew it was gonna cause comments, cause yeah. comments like this ain't no damn fofo. This little track me gun. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's that was that. That whole go. Putting the big stupid clothes on and having my shirt off because I'm skinny, whatever it is. And then I was like, I put the slow motion together. Instead of making it move in slow motion with with the with the apps, I'm gonna do it myself. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. put it together. Yeah. And it was just it all just worked. Like this dude doing the same verse in every song. He always got that little ass gun. He always in slow motion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it just came hand in hand. And niggas Shaq thought I was a real rapper. <laughs> when he called you, what did nah, he nah, say? Nah, he, he, he DM me, he said. He, he said he's a real rapper. Bro, let, let me say something, bro. Shaq DM me when I first started talking. Shaq DM me, he said that rap was fire. <laughs> and I, 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 look, I was driving. I'm still living in Milwaukee, though. You know what I'm saying? I said, I looked at it like, this ain't Shaq Shaq. You know what I'm saying? I looked at it. He had all the followers, the blue check. I'm like, nah, this ain't no fucking Shaq. But I DM'd him back anyway. I said, I said, I ain't no rapper, man. I was like, I ain't no rapper. I'm a comedian. He said, oh, nigga, I thought you was a rapper. This is exactly how he said it. So I'm like, I said, damn, man. I just had my little two seconds of fame with Shaq. This nigga ain't finna talk to me no more. Call me, now, look, all I was thinking, I should have just told him I was a rapper. This is what I was thinking. I should have said I was a rapper, man. Nah, he said, oh, he, nigga. He been following, so he got Yeah, he said, oh, nigga. I thought, but he started following me because of Arsenal. It makes sense. When I, I seen that he fuck with Arsenal, Arsenal was the first like celebrity to me Like when I first started popping. You know, the battle rapper nigga yeah. that, that said something to me. So I was like, damn, I've been watching dude. Woo. And then I seen Shaq fuck with Arsenal. So I'm like, oh, that's how, because Arsenal posted me one of my Fofo videos. Okay. So he must seen on Arsenal page and thought I could rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he said that rap will fire. I said, man, I ain't know. I said, I don't rap for real. I'm a comedian. He said, oh, nigga, I thought you could rap. So I'm like, damn, my fan. I ain't gonna hear from So him. then he was like, you know, he do the TNT shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was started sending me videos of him doing my Fofo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't know how to do it. So he had be playing it in the background. <laughs> And doing a lip sync. You know how you do the lip sync? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you be doing that still. Yeah, and he sent it to me, and I was like, oh, nigga, you should see me when I seen that. That nigga doing the photo. Bro, because <laughs> I my DM, because that was, this is the beginning of cheating. Now, this 2018, 2019, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I said, oh, I said, hey, man, nigga, this shit. You know, I was geeked up, man. I put it on every social media site <laughs> that I could. You know what I'm saying? Then he kept sending them. You know what I'm saying? So then it went from that to... Me, uh, he was broadcasting in Milwaukee, and I was—I told you I was visiting yeah, my son in Milwaukee. He was like, "Stay." He was like, uh, "We broadcasting the game uh, for the." Oh, Bucks he was hitting you up, telling you to yeah, come yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, because I got his number. You know what I'm saying? So we doing that. He was like, "I'm about to be in Milwaukee," because I said I was gonna go back to Atlanta because I, I had moved to Atlanta at this time. He was like, "Stay an extra day. I'll be down there." It's, I, he told me the club he was gonna be at, and I know I'm—I'm—I'm I'm, I'm already VIP in my city now because at this point I'm making hella noise. Yeah. So I come, and then he asked me. He said, "You busy?" I'm like, "What?" He said, "Can you go get me a fire stick?" This is he asked me. I'm like, what? I'm like, I, I'm like, you for real? He said, yeah. So I go to Best Buy, get a fire stick. Because he, he ain't landed yet. I go get a fire stick. Fire stick like $40. Never bought a fire stick in my life. Get the fire stick. I'm in a club with a fire stick in my pocket. <laughs> Damn. Because look, we got a club, <laughs> the right? The fire sticks was banging. Yeah, no, because it was like, it's I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to leave it at home. What I'm supposed to do. So I'm, I'm just going to put it in my pocket just in case he asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't going to ask for it in the club, yeah, bro. Yeah. But I didn't know, nigga. This, nigga, this Shaq, nigga, what if he asked for it? Nah, nigga, I ain't want to fumble no chance. Nigga, this is the beginning of cheating ass Myra. Nigga, so, this Shaq talking so to me. So what did you car. do? Did he ask you for it in the club? No, nah, he didn't. But he gave me my money. He asked me, did I get it? And I said, yeah. 
And then he gave me five hundred dollars for forty dollars. I said, nigga, I just made five. Nigga, that profit margin is different. I made four hundred sixty dollars. You know that five hundred? Profit margin is different. That five hundred. I wasn't able to handle. He scaled that over. That five hundred. I was like me just giving you a nickel out my pocket right now to shout. Here you go, man. We don't care a penny. He gave me five hundred dollars, but he counted out in the club. You know what I'm saying? But this the thing. It's only five hundred. They might around me because my city love me. But I was just excited that my city seen me up there with Shaq, Shaq yeah. and handed me some money. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, I'm trying to get my was. What? They, man, it don't matter if they seen it was only five hundred. It's Shaq giving it to me. That's different. Everybody like this, like. Damn, I, no, I'm I watching them, man. Look, man, I, I opened up to the to the crowd so they can see it. A Shaq threw yeah, you a, what? Shaq threw you a big ass Ella hoop and what? you dunked that whole. I already knew what it was. That's you know how much that more that solidified me in my city. I was yeah. already lit in my city, but it solidified me more when they like boom. Then we leave. I don't even know where the hell we going. Shaq like, we finna go, we finna go. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, I know I ain't going back to this nigga room. I, it's just common sense. Shaq ain't <laughs> yeah. taking all this back to the room. He finna go get him, you know, he finna handle this shit. So we leave. I'm walking out with Shaq and shit. Everybody look like ants. This motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, but I ain't care about none of that. I'm just saying everybody in the club looking at me like, I told you like seven months. Like, seven you shut that hole down. You Fair. shut it down. Yeah, man. bro. So that's yeah. how they looking at it. So I'm walking through. I ain't shaking a hand. Nah, or nothing. nigga, it's different when you walk. No, I love, no, I love them because they was walking Shaq out fast. So I had to walk fast. fast. <laughs> like, I'm with them. You know what I'm saying? I can't, <laughs> slow, I can't slow down. Man, hell, I can't slow down and shake hands. Now I ain't with the pack. Now I look like oh he was just following. No, nigga, I'm I, I, I'm, I'm with, with this him. nigga. So he walking fast. They getting him out of there. Clear, clear, clear. I'm I'm right behind Shaq. Clear, clear, clear. I was down there spooning the nigga trying to say. <laughs> like, I had to get out like, of like, nigga, I was shit, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> y'all got, got in the car and rode? Nah, yeah. Nah, uh, I had drove my car down there, but his hotel wasn't far from the club. Yeah. It's a big club, 720. So I, he told me to uh, meet him at the hotel, so I go to the hotel, and then he, like, pull your phone out. I'm like, mm. What's up? We did a quick skit and then, and then hit just because oh, it was shot. Y'all did a squit. Y'all did a A what? A squit. A skit. No, I said a squit. I'm like, man, that is a squit. I I said, just, you can't mess up with this hey, nigga. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. nigga got dentures in his mouth. That's how nigga with fake teeth talk. And then they're natural. Y'all did a skit, right? Y'all squit. Gotta put them shits back in. Y'all Did y'all do a skit, man? How long did that? Was it Was it? Was it long? Was it a short or long skit, <laughs> man? <laughs> <Just too true. laughs> you fix the teeth, nigga. Man, I ain't got no ditches. Was it long? long? I'm asking what you. you thought. <laughs> nigga, what? No, 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 what's up? No, it was, it was quick. It was quick. How long no, was it? It was a quick. Hey, it was a quick skit, man. It was a quick skit. It was. It wasn't even no good skit. Check was just like, I was giving him the uh the uh what's it, the uh the fire stick. He was like, Shaq was like uh. He said, he said, pull your phone out. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, right? He said, and gave it to my friend. He was like, act like you, uh, he said, just give me the, uh, the fire stick. So I walk up to him. Oh, he said, act like you selling me the fire stick or something, like a dope deal. And he ain't smiling or nothing when he said it. So I'm like, the fuck? Man? Cause the skit didn't sound funny to me at all. He said, act like you selling me the fire stick like a dope deal. I ain't make you nervous. Nah, cause he was good. You know why he didn't? Cause when I, when I got there, right? They let me right in the club and all that, right? But then when I got to the VIP, where Shaq and them was, because he was with Kenny Smith. Ernie, Ernie wasn't there. With, uh, that's not Kenny Smith, but uh, what's his name with the uh, Stephen A. Smith? Yeah, Stephen, Stephen A. Smith. A. They was there, and then he had a team. But when I tried to go up there, they was like, but we know who he is, bro. Like, we fuck with you. You know, you from the city, but, you know, Shaq. And I understood that. I said, but right when he was doing that, Shaq was like, oh, they so I, that, you can't miss Shaq So that already solidified Then I got the 500 in front of him Then I walked up and spooned him on the way out <laughs> Pause <laughs> You know what I'm saying <laughs> then, then, then we go do the video You know what I'm saying But he was like Just act like you give me the fire stick Like it's a dope deal Just on some goofy stuff But I'm like It, it wasn't funny when he said it But I'm like I don't give a damn It's Shaq I'm gonna do it So I came over there Looking up Like people looking Pulled it out my pocket Handed it to him He do it like taste it like it's dope and all that shit like that. Get in like, all right, good. Shake his hand and walk off. I well, posted and then they go crazy. I said, man, that's what I'm saying. Did it it, it, it impacted your page, followers, what? all that? Man, Shaq will fuck with me, man. He he was he did some videos and was like tagging me in it, like challenging me for stuff. And I was like, that will really help me. You I was like, yeah, that was me. Oh. Wow, that's the the thing about it, man. That's that's a blessing, bro. Everybody don't get those opportunities. Yeah, man, but like like I was telling Bubba Dub, I said Shaq so solid, right? I uh, he a Facetime and just check on you, like what's up, how you doing, you good, you know what I'm saying? Or if I'm alive, he would jump on, like wow. you know what I'm saying. I love you. When he first said that, I ain't even know what to say. <laughs> I love you, boy. I was like, uh, 
Love, love you too, nigga. nigga. Like I don't know what, to, what I'm supposed to say. Like, but, but anyway, that's how he talk though. If he fuck with you, that's just how he talk. But uh, so his size ain't never intimidate you. No. Uh, See, look, 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 man. That's crazy. But no, because he no funny, bro. That man, that man, no funny. When he see natural funny, bro, he know it, bro. Like he gonna rock with. A funny like if you funny he gonna rock with you bro like he fucking wow. with Bubba Dub right now bro he gonna keep fucking Bubba Dub let's Bubba Dub just fall off yeah yeah you so, know what I'm saying so, so is he the only but, one who that what? that that kind of took a liking to your no Michael Blacks I did like ten videos with Michael Blackson man Michael Blackson uh and R I P Chinese best friend man because that's the dude that. That put Michael Blackson on me. His his he had a dude that he called his Chinese best friend. He just passed away. He had yes. COVID and some other stuff happened. Wow. He was regular like us, but he just and he just passed wow. away. Like it happened yeah. that fast, right? Sorry so so yeah, R. I. P. To him, shout out to him because he used to DM me and tell me, uh, "You funny." And he's like, "You know who I am?" I'm like, "No." Nah. He's like, "Yeah, I'm Michael Blackson's best friend." And I'm like, "I'm looking at this dude because he's real Chinese." I'm like, man, "Goddamn!" This is what I first thought. Like, man. Look at his page. He with Michael Blackson, but I'm like, man, he probably a limo driver or something. Like, I was trying to find reasons for him not to be connected to him, and then I found out that he really was. So uh, Michael Blackson was on live one day with Just Hilarious, and I watched like five minutes of it, and I got off like, you know, get kind of boring after a while or whatever. Then I got back on. I got off Instagram, did something, got back on, and it was weird. As soon as I got back on Instagram, went to his live, I heard him just the end of my name, like, ask Myron, where is he at? Cheating ass. Then he said it again, cheating ass mind. Where's he at? Looking in the comments. And I'm like, oh, Chinese best friend, and put him on me. So I click on it. You know, what I'm saying he was talking to me and stuff like that. You know, like, oh, yeah. And it started like that. So I didn't know. Then he came to Atlanta and he was like, uh, he DM me like, I'm in Atlanta. We should do some videos. So you know, he's yeah. one of those guys that was able to try to. He he was he was kind of able to transfer him into, and Lil Duval. For yeah, sure. him and Lil Duval. Yeah, His certain ones was they able to. They the was times. able to deal with it. They kept up with the times, man, because they knew what was going on, man. And he 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 came to at the A, and we we did a video at the at, a, at his hotel, like with some girls and all that. Then he was like, it was one video. He's like, you need to come to L.A. and we can do more videos. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, three days later, I found me a flight. To LA because my homie lived down there, so I need no hotel. Yeah, and I was just with Michael Blackson all day filming, and then I go sleep in my homie house. Then I wake up for three days and go back to Michael Blackson all day, and then I'm over there and all them girls like they was like, well, because they didn't know me. Who is he? Where he's been at? And he was like, they was like, he's funny. He was like, yeah, he's naturally funny. He's just, he's funny. He's gonna be big like all this. And I'm like, he was. They made me feel I ain't been around a celebrity. Tip Michael Blackson, Shaq, just the name, you know, a couple. A few. None of them made me feel like they were better than me, bro. When I'm around them niggas, it got to the point where I felt like I was just hanging with my niggas. Like, I ain't saying I'm tight with them like I'm with my niggas, but I'm tight with them. Yeah. But they didn't never make me feel like, like man, like if any of them niggas walked in right now, I, I the same way I talk to you crazy to you and have mm. fun, I do it to them. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. It's like that. I won't be like. That's what they seeing you. So that's yeah, why I, I won't. Yeah, I won't. I won't. I won't be looking like telling y'all that, and then they come in, nigga walk past. Hey, I thought they like they knew him. Like nah, yeah. nigga, I'm be like man, get your big. Black ass, like I'm gonna have fun, like or whatever. So, but but that's a thing they look for. Like they trying to normalize. Like you got to realize people do that. People kiss up to them every day. Mm -hmm. So they looking for that normality, right? Mm -hmm. So that's dope. I mean, so <clears throat> top what top three comedians of all time, dead oh. or alive? Who dead is it? Dead or alive? Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have some. I gotta get some footage. <laughs> top three Top three comedians <laughs> Of all time Top three comedians man. It's more than three But no, I don't want but three I, My favorite of all time I already know Who You already look You look like the nigga Who Damn Chris Tucker. Man, how you, <laughs> you look like the nigga. That cover, dog. No, that's my favorite comedian you all time. You look like the nigga. So people be like, why he the top? Because you know other people strong. I'm like, man, Chris Tucker was just, he was naturally funny. You know what I'm saying? But mine, honestly, Chris Tucker, Tony Roberts, man. Bubba Dub, you know who Tony Roberts is? I often ask you who the hell that is. Now, look, he already know, man. Tony Roberts, funny as hell, man. He a physical comedian. You see I'm naming physical comedians, and it ain't, on, it ain't like on purpose. This is just what I grew up. I'm like... These dudes funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? But mine, this is mine. Chris Tucker, Tony Roberts, and I would have to say Mike Epps if I had to pick. Mike Epps? It's a, not, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of other greats, Barney Max and all that, but I'm talking about my style of com comedians that I like, that I would, you know what I'm saying, that I would, like, I want to watch. That's just, then will be my three. Can you get into Dave Chappelle? Yes, Dave Chappelle. The thing with Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, very deep. I ain't at that point in my career to be so deep. <laughs> 
But I like the fact that because he's funny. I can't watch him. No, he's funny. No, he's funny, but he can say stuff that nobody else can say. I heard Steve Harvey say that. Dave Chappelle, and that's coming from well, somebody else's No, Lately, they they came out, they came at him. They but came at said, him. I, yeah, they come oh, at they him. They came for him. They come at him, but they didn't stop. I mean, they don't stop him. They, they, they didn't get, yeah, it's something to it. They came for him. They came for blood. Man, y'all should let him get on this mic, man. <laughs> he want to say something. I heard him in the back. Like, We're pulling him in for a second <laughs> if you don't mind. Bubba, you got to go say something, Bubba Dub. Yeah, come on, on. I'm like, man, he back there. It sounds like he wanted to say something. I'm like, let him come say something, man. Real justice. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good look. It's on. Yeah, everything on, nigga. It's on and popping up in here. Boss top, everything on. He said all that. He said everything on. It's on and popping up in here. Poppin'. <laughs> it's going down. Man, we got Bubba Dub just came up on the set, man. Just like that, man. It's yeah, going down. Yeah, the same question. I want, I, I want to know his face. He com- comedian. That I want to know his three. top three. Yeah, that top three is serious. Dead or alive? Dead or alive? <laughs> Number one, Richard. Richard Pryor. See, Number I rock with Richard. I rock with Richard. See, he, he got one. an old soul, nigga. Number one. Yours was young. Number one, yeah. Number one uh, Richard. Uh, number two, I'm going to go with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. See, them yeah, great. Eddie Murphy three, go hard, Three, boy. three, three. Bernie. Bernie Mac. See, now look. This is what I'm saying. Everybody he just named, I rock with heavy. Okay. I rock with heavy. They all funny as hell. And I ain't taking them. And they all, I'm be 100. All three of them people he named are better comedians than Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Off top. No, facts. This is what I know. This Chris is what Tucker. I know. I know your reason why you like yeah, Chris yeah, Tucker. Yeah. So I'm not knocking his reason. He go hard. He, I, 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 man, I'm about to be mad. I thought he was going to say Chris Tucker. Trash. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going watch it. I'm like, what? Cause he said, cause I said, I said, I said, all three of them is better than he said. Chris Tucker, I was waiting on trash. Man, we about to scuffle. Hey, hey, that show was so loud last night, man. I enjoyed that, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Bro, right, man, brother. when we showed up, man, I was like, man, and mm-hmm. I didn't know if I gonna ever get to you, but mm-hmm. it was coming up. There. I said, that nigga showing love to all the people that showed him love. Yeah, that's man. that's how we do. The so facts. I was, I was, that was a dope look, man. But you got, yeah, you got to think though, bro, like. You gotta show love to the people that made you who you are. Yep. Without y'all watching and sharing our videos for other people to watch and share and share and share, like we don't, we, no, there's no cheating as my, there's no bubble dub. Like you know what I'm saying? I didn't been with people on social media at shows and be walking outside, going places, and people screaming our names and they like keep walking, keep walking. I was like, bro, I don't do that. I yeah. take set, especially because I know we ain't going nowhere. We going to the Mitchell and Nest store downtown, and I think we was in Philly or some somewhere down there. Like we ain't in no rush. I show into tonight. So why are we? Why are you talking about keep walking? Y'all can act Hollywood and keep walking. I'm turning around. I'm finna take this picture. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you doing I, it I, right? I, yeah, because you walk around now. They like, oh, I seen cheating that man. He ain't. Yeah, he ain't you know, like man. I thought he yeah, was. Yeah, your first impression mean everything. Bro. Yeah. So when was the first time like when when people start to recognize you and you was you, it messed your head up? Well, it was it like when they were like, "Let me take a picture." I'm asking both of y'all that question. Like, yeah. "Let me take a picture with you, nigga." So, uh, <laughs> and my, it happened in my city, but because I'm from my city, it was like I was happy, but it was you know what I'm saying. I was excited, like, "Damn, like, they really rocking with me," you know what I'm saying. But I didn't really know I was lit as I was until I moved to Atlanta. Once I got to Atlanta, all the people that I was watching already that I didn't know I had a clue knew who I was, knew me, and I hear them whispering about whispering about me, like. That's that dude that be doing cheating video. And then my whole time, they don't know. I already was in the room looking over there like, man, that's so-and-so, man. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm all like, oh, y'all do the same thing. Don't even yeah, know yeah, it. yeah, because but, but I knew they was grinding before me before I did. I had just started, you know what I'm saying? But when I got to Atlanta, that was one reason. I said, damn, people know me in Atlanta. Then I went in the mall, people knew me. Then I was doing comedy shows, going to them. I don't give a damn. If it was two people, one person out the whole weekend. I'm like, I ain't never been to this city and one person stopped I'm, I'm me and took a picture. Now yeah. it's different, though. You know what I'm saying? You go out and uh, it's, it's multiple people that know you. He try to run from I'm people. Of he shit, runs. Man. Like I said, like, that, that go money. Mo- he gone. Go I'm get it. I'm going the other way. Last night he tried to shit, run. Dog. We yeah. was mm-hmm. like, man, hey, man, uh, uh, man, I enjoy y'all show. I said, I go money Moses right there. Nigga trying to run. I know he gonna run. I don't, 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 don't be liking this stuff, man. It's like I don't, I don't know where it's coming from. But no, so what, what about you? Like, like when the first time like it hits you, like, dang, man, these folks knowing me like this. Moving up here. Moving up here? Moving up here, and I was working for Bluebell Ice Cream. So, you know, oh. I'm delivering ice cream. So, <laughs> these so he white folks didn't tell me, these white people didn't tell me they was putting me in Oak Cliff in South Dallas. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, I'm terrified when I find out what the places I'm working at. Oh, shit, I'm in Oak Cliff. <laughs> you, yeah, we in the country, nigga. Like, what? We in Oak Cliff? Boss Talk, they had me in South Dallas delivering to Little World. Oh, Damn. God. <laughs> 
Swat that. Hold on, I'm scared as shit. Hold on, hold on. What you knew? What you knew? No, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's why. Wait, inform me because I want to. I want to know what what is little world? Because I don't go there. Don't go there, man. So that's it's a hood. It's real hood. I love it. I mean, that's why I got out of it. I just wanted to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hood. Okay. It's it's a place where you just I can take you over there tonight, but it's gonna be niggas standing outside. I'm good. I'm so when you got over there, what the dudes? Oh, through. that bubble though. Trip me out. I was like scared to deliver ice cream there. So it's like this <laughs> door. <laughs> no, no cap, no cap. Oh, this door. This door. This fuck, I, could dog. Take, I could take a thousand dollar worth of ice cream into this store, and three days later, it's empty. So the boss is going to come <laughs> over there and make sure I'm filling it up. But I wasn't filling it up. I was half filling that bitch and getting up out of there. So when I went in there a couple of times, I was oh, that's Bubba Dog. That's Bubba Dog. Nigga, we love you. And then, then I was like, damn, that's cool. I'm good now. Yeah. But then I go home the next night, somebody get their head blew off there. Like Damn. real talk, that's how dangerous little world live. But I'm getting live. love when I go there though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's still danger though. Yeah. At any given point. Yeah, it I'm is. Gonna put that in my. Oh, you got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm trying to die and do a show. Like, I'm gonna so, use that. Like they had me in Little World. It's little world. <laughs> Yeah, little world. Yeah, but, but so Oak Cliff in itself is a, is, is a whole different world. But you got all over. It's just different pockets, man. You in Dallas, that man? That is big, though. The yeah. people will start that coming up to me, and my bosses, the white, like, "Who are you?" I'm like, "I don't even know." <laughs> I didn't even get this at home. <laughs> I'm delivering cream. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> get this type of love bro. at home. Bro, my, that's man, crazy. one of my little homies hey, always man. send me your videos. Always. I'm like, why you keep sending me this nigga video? He love you. My, the one, yeah, like, no. the nigga be with me all the time. If he knew he was here now, he'll be over. I ain't calling uh, him. Hey, I told his bro. brother earlier, I'll say, hey, I, I, this, out of everything you said, I wanted the job you had. You want the ice, ice cream? cream yeah, yeah, I was trying to look for a job for the longest. <laughs> Deliver ice cream, bro. God, I said want the job. You got to go over there and fill the application. Yeah, that's you, can't, you can't Look. be peeing dirty, we, nigga. We got to piss yeah, dirty. Yeah, you day, piss sorry. dirty, you, you we, can't get in there. We got something to count because before I was doing it, I was delivering liquor at liquor stores in the hood in Milwaukee. But I was from Milwaukee, so I was all right. You know what I'm saying? Before cheating that mind, but it was like, so you already know your hoods. But it's funny when you said delivering ice cream. I like, I used to do I worked for a liquor distributor company for like nine years. I catch y'all slipping, nigga. I go around the other side in the truck. Yeah, I hear like you. can I catch that slipping. I was still a nigga. What you talking <laughs> about? I was watching the truck with you, nigga. I'm on the I truck wait till they go in. You know, they have to go around right it. Oh. I said, boy, and I pull up right beside it. Oh, hit that oh, and grab See, me. Look, I used to have my homie pull up. Cause I'm, I, I ain't been working there about six years Oh, you now. leave it on on purpose? No, nah, no. What I'm saying, like, <laughs> what we do is say, when we, because I was on the city route, the white people weren't going to that inner city route. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would go in. And then he stay outside the truck. But he used to be terrified. Because, you know, the niggas stand outside the corner store. Like you said, it'd be a bunch of niggas. So then I come in. Then he go in with one. But what I used to do, I used to have my friend pull up. He'd get his girl car. He didn't want to drive his car. We was yeah, yeah, like, well, we had dope or something. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, he hey. to get that yeah, He'd pull up and pop his trunk. And I already had cases at the back of the trunk. We'd throw, like, Hennessy, Ciroc, all that. Uh, uh, what's the other shit? Uh, Remy. Put that boom. Yeah. And I had a person that was already ready to buy What was his it. name? I ain't, I ain't telling you, man. <laughs> let me tell you something. Hold on. I'm going really nice. Let me tell you why I asked that. It was like a nigga that. coming to the store, right? And he was like, man, yeah, man, me and T.I., because you seen all the pictures T.I. Me and T.I. used to, we used to steal liquor out the back of the store together. I used to hook them boys up. That nigga know me, ask him about, I don't remember. You remember the name? I got the, I got the Vegas with that nigga. I seen Tip. I say, Tip, man, tell me something, man. I said, you know this nigga? I don't forgot his name. See, so something. I was like, do you know? He's like, nah. I knew it then. I said, you don't know the nigga. He said, y'all used to be, you know, getting a little liquor together. He said, no, nah, I don't think I know him, bro. I come back and told that nigga. I said, you don't know Tim, man. <laughs> you got me up. I had a moment with the nigga. I could have did other things. Nigga, yeah. I'm trying to get you some exposure. Trying to get to know the nigga. Mess my whole game. Nigga up. lied to you. Yeah, he man. lied to me. Had me all up in Vegas. Because he seen the pictures, man. He thought I wasn't going to see the nigga again That's or something? That's what he thought. <laughs> That's what he thought. That's what he thought. <laughs> I was interviewing uh, Freeway Ricky Ross and my partner, he from East Texas, uh, it's Pop Johnson. Shout out to Pop Johnson. And I said, man, I said, Pop Johnson, he, he told me he knew Freeway. Soon as Freeway got in front of him, I called him, Pop, nigga, I hope you know the nigga for real, because <laughs> I'm right here with this nigga. They talked that same, had that See, same energy. That's why you can't, that's why you can't be out here capping, but you don't never know what's going to happen. <laughs> that's why I lie. <laughs> Look, I was on pills, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> hey, <Bro. laughs> Man, you guys are crazy, man. Hey, man I, that hey, was me, so, <laughs> so let me ask something deep. Like, like, what's the end game for both of y'all? Like, what, where would you like to see yourself? You know, when it come down to status, or, or, or you know, far as on the, on your career with this comedy, man. 
Man, I'm really, I really want to be tapped into movies. Like, I want to do stand up. I always try to do stand up, but like, like one person that motivate me a lot, like with their work ethic, is Kevin Hart, bro. That man, that nigga go in. Bro, that man don't stop. Like, Number he's one, a, bro. This nigga in commercials, uh, movies. He got, he got, he got so much going on. It's like I feel like, bro, how are you? You get what I'm saying? Like, when do you have time for your family or anything, bro? The man always got something bro, going on. Bro, he get in those cold, chill tubs. I be watching that. I'm like, damn. Him, 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 do that. him and the, it be a girl sometimes would be dudes and they get in. I wouldn't get in that, first of all. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would for the money. I lied. I get right on in there. <laughs> I, it'll be cold as hell, but I'm going to get this money. Bro, you but, got to throw and sell minutes. <laughs> but, but I watch that. As soon as I see it, I be like, damn, I need to get in there, man. Yeah, that thing going in. You know, I need to watch this one. Man. So that nigga got it going on. He Know how to do Kevin, it. Kevin Hart can sit down right now and be straight for the rest of his life. His kids, everything. He will not sit down, bro. Like that man works. So it's like that's how I look at. I'm like, trying to grow. Yeah, for real. If so he doing a, it, what about when he, when he got it like that? I ain't got it. So Facts. I need to be doing what he what doing. He that's what I'm sure. saying, bro. We ain't nowhere near this man. Not even a pinch Pinch, of a Kevin Hart, bro. Like, we we can be lit. People can walk in here and love us, take pictures, all that. We ain't got nowhere near that man. Money. We yeah. ain't nowhere near. Kevin Hart can't walk nowhere. Like this is how Why I think, you think in my mind. Sit down? If we walk in the mall right now, right. Me and, Bidub, me and Bubba Dub can walk through. Some people gonna know us, but we can walk. We might walk a little bit before somebody recognizes. Kevin Hart can't take a step, so I be like, <laughs> oh. "That's what." No, it ain't about the clout, but I want that so bad. Like I want that to where instead of fact, because if you walking like that, that means you making a lot of money. Bro. And that like, little boy be set forever too. That what I'm saying. Generations. What about you? That's why I want generation wealth. I don't want to be rich. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah, and I Facts. think that's the next level. So that's Facts. the that's the end game. That's the end game for real. And piggyback on something he's saying earlier about Facebook, man. You can get a bag on Facebook. That, Facts. It's Whatever over country Wayne say he making, he is making, bro. Yeah, on the on, on the hater, on, on the like, hater. I know that. That's bro. Facts. Bro, oh, shit. Listen to this. <laughs> that's big facts. I'm not gonna put y'all in my business. But it's facts. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can hey, tell that, you. It's listen, facts. bro. Hey, I the, seen it for myself. It's, it's lobster mac and cheese over here bro. now, bro. That's all I'm telling you. Bro, I the man, for myself. the man wasn't. He ain't used to. You know, he used to showboat enough. He still don't really showboat, but you know what I'm saying. But he showed a little bit. Like he showed when he got his new car. He showed when he bought his new house. And you seeing what he doing, right? Yeah. Social media. He did a he did a few movies and stuff like. He got other stuff going on. I ain't you know what I'm saying. He got stuff going on, but we really know him from social media. So yeah. you know that, that he making a bag off that social drip money. That drip money real. It's real. Oh yes, that's <laughs> real. It's real. Man. That's real. People, but the, the, the thing about him is all these different characters, man. That's the part. Like listen, to be able to do that and be reason, successful at it is a gift in itself. The reason I respect him, man, because the man I remember um, before I was doing video. Y'all remember when he used to do the videos? Like this, where he only had his face in it in mm-hmm. the camera. That's when he first started, bro. That was a while ago. So he was doing that. So to see where he came at now, bro, like, like even DC don't even make content no more. DC still grinding. Don't get me wrong, he doing his thing. But Wayne, the reason I respect Wayne so much, cause he still do content that what you, you know what I'm saying? People, people thought that when you once you start growing. They ain't gonna, you ain't gonna put out as much content no more because you got other stuff going on. I'm putting out more than I ever put out. Facts. You working? Listen, I seen you this morning. Don't like, stop. This nigga ain't playing. No I, look, I look at like Country Wayne because you know it's, it's always somebody doing something that everybody eyes is over here. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I'm straight on the Facts. <laughs> Facts. Don't even Facts. know it. But you Facts. look up. Damn. Yeah. This nigga yeah. Coming. See yeah. what I'm saying? You see how that mindset yeah. is, bro? That's how mm-hmm. it is, bro. And it ain't no hate, no, no shade, ain't, ain't no mm-hmm. competition. I'm gonna be the best me, but I have to look at other people to be motivated no to make. We work harder. So yours, you you have like Bubba a Dub few more lit right now. Bubba Dub lit. Like yeah. he like he's lit. He's lit right now. He's yeah. hotter than all hey. of us right. Now. I don't give a damn what nobody say. He's the and this is me being a real nigga. Like he hotter than all of us right now. And yeah. I ain't saying right don't now. Look at it like that, though. Yeah, I know, but I we, look at it like we we, we, we never, brothers. Yeah. yeah, we got to get it. We get to the end result. That's all that matters. Whether well, you take, no. whether well, you know, I'm saying whether well, you okay. take us there or whether well, I take or whoever. Long as we get there, we got a lot of black men in this business. They'll get there and don't want to throw it back. That's it. I'm Facts. throwing the bait back. Yeah, I'm Facts. pulling you, and when I pull you, you throw it back and pull somebody else. Yeah, that's Facts. it. That's that, rough. That's, that's real. We all coming up. But that's look. You see how you see what he is. That's why. That's why he gonna be great. And that's why I'd be great because I think the same way, bro. Like, I never tell somebody I can't work with them because I'm afraid they're going to take my family. At the end of the day, if me and Bubba Dub do a video, right, all, all he can do and all I can do is gain some of each other's fans. His fans ain't going to stop liking him because I'm in the video like, 
Oh, dude, cheating ass my whoever that dude did the video, well, he funny as hell. I ain't fucking with Bubba Dove no more. Now, now they gonna be like, Bubba Dove funny, but that dude he was with funny too. They gonna follow me and vice versa. They gonna be on my page like, man, I'm you glad funny, you said but that. I'm trying to get somebody. They gonna be like, all my fans, yeah. your fans anyway. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Look, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll rock with you. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's but dope, see, but man. I don't know that till he just said. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I'm, I guarantee you, it's the same way. I guarantee you I can take. You see what he doing right now? I can take it. I do a show for my birthday every year in my hometown. My birthday March 29th. I always do a comedy. That's how I start my birthday. Take off. I always do a go yeah. home, do so a show. Coming, that's and not yeah, March 29th. And they always sell out. Like, I'll never, it ain't gonna be weak. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be packed. I guarantee you they'll love this. They'll love that's it. What, that's what I wanna up. give you your flower because you rare. I didn't know it was niggas in Milwaukee. I didn't either. Look, I didn't either. What I say, I said, uh, what I say, you're a unicorn. unicorn. What I say, he's not <laughs> a unicorn. <laughs> oh, I didn't either. Listen, Milwaukee's so ghetto, bro. Like, if I take Bubba Dub down there, like, hey, bro, come do the. Matter of fact, that we're going to talk about because I can bring you for my birthday show. That we talk about That's the numbers be dope, every man. So, bring Bubba Dub. I guarantee you. We do that comedy show and we go to the club and kick it at that. He gonna be like, he gonna come back. We can come back to boss talk. But how was Milwaukee? I ain't gonna say nothing. He gonna let it. Because everybody let it be I know. took there that didn't know about it and they got there, they like, man, it's a whole bunch of niggas down there <laughs> and they ghetto. <laughs> they get, oh, they get. I'm gonna take them to the hood where I grew up. All the, to everywhere, but like, you know what I'm saying? I That's really do want to take niggas in the summertime so they can see how these niggas is out there. <laughs> Not to, like on no bullshit, but just no, ride, let me ride that, through here. Let me show you, like, this, this Milwaukee. That's dope, man. You know I'm coming man? too, nigga. Y'all ain't leaving me. Man, I took these yeah, niggas. Man. And we do a going. Documentary. We going. We do a documentary. Yeah. My I team took, going. I took, bro, I took these niggas. Boss talk going with y'all. Niggas was like, man, Milwaukee, it's white people. I said, bro, I said, come to Milwaukee, bro, so I can show you. And then guess what everybody say? Man, we're ghetto on the motherfucker down there. I said, yeah, it's ghetto. They just posted the something today. Good? Got some good food? Hell yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you all that, bro. They just posted something today, bro, where they found, it was a, a, a house. They found six, this today. I put it on my page and I had took it down. I'm like, I don't know. But, and 50 Cent posted. It said, in Milwaukee, they found six bodies, six dead bodies in the house. Wow. And they said three of the bodies, three out of the six bodies was uh, supposed to testify in the court hearing uh, in about four days. Or them, something like that. I don't remember playing. the exact date, but niggas ain't playing nowhere. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, bro, it's it's different. It's like I'm saying it's crazy everywhere. But y'all gotta think we only like an hour and a half from Chicago, so niggas kill in Chicago and then run in Milwaukee. That's I think that's how we got. They the trying hat. to book me in Chicago right now. I won't go. <laughs> <laughs> I said, can we do it Zoom? <laughs> don't say that. Hey, I come right over the ball stop. Get up in the yeah, camera. Yeah, we'll, we'll push that up. We'll push that up. Hey, but ha hey, not well. You ain't. Have you ever did a Zoom comedy show? Now they tried to get me to do bro, it. Bro, listen, I tried it one How time. Was it? No, it was so weird because it was for a college. So you seeing all the kids, but I'm in the crib comfortable. And like, I got all this goddamn energy, but it feel <laughs> weird because you usually had the energy built off of the crowd. Correct, correct, correct. So they sitting there, they laughing, but it don't sound loud or nothing. This sound like, I'm like, I, and you then it, more speakers in your, your then house. He called me, yeah, then he called me back like, you want to do another Zoom? They love you. I said, man, I ain't doing no more of that shit. <laughs> I felt dumb as hell. I felt dumb as hell. I'm running through the house. Man, you, 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 <laughs> hey, man, what's up? They looking at me like, ah, and I felt so stupid, bro. Hey, you but did they pay you good? They all got paid, nice, but it was like, like, but it don't matter, man. You hey, got to have that feeling, right? I got that feeling, bro. That feeling, bro. It was like, I felt like, I felt dumb. Wow, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking yeah. to, to people on there, and they laugh, and you see their faces, but the laugh sound low because it's all on a computer. It's a laptop. Comedians, you know, when we performing, you know, we, we, you know, we thrive off the crowd, man. They yeah. energy, yeah. looking to the crowd, seeing y'all oh, last night. Food, that shit boy. Just, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Well, it, it's like it, it's like I got I'm performing in yeah. this whole. I yeah, got to show it. my ass tonight. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you cut up, nigga. Hey, it was all good till you touched him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying like that till you touched him. Like, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. No, I know it. But hey, yeah, we start looking that's, around. That's, that's the clip they're going to take and cut out and just post that. Yeah, yeah. good till you touched touch him. Wait a minute. They're going to go viral. They're going to be like, hey. <laughs> Hey, they gonna go by read where it goes. So really, man, you know. but that part gonna go by the wrong way. He gonna be fighting. I mean, we know. Shit. No, he ain't gonna be no. So fight. where are you? Where <laughs> your next performance at? I got. Uh, uh, I didn't lick the mic. Goddamn, man! I'm trying, I'm trying to lick my lips and shit. The mic. Y'all gotta get little mics, man. No, man. I'm trying to blame <laughs> nothing. God damn, man! I'm about to COVID. <laughs> this nigga stupid. No, no, but uh, uh, uh. Little Rock, Arkansas. Going to Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas with Jesse. Oh, y'all going? Oh, yeah, because that's where you from. Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, he died. Man. Yeah, he died. He he did. Rock, Arkansas. What, and you, where, where you put oh, you My next show going to be in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Rock, Arkansas. Raleigh, North Carolina. The, the 12th of February and the 13th. But uh, say it again. The twelfth and the thirteenth in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, man, man, dope, man. I, I, I definitely Raleigh know. Be lit. You I'm, just made her happy. Oh, I might come. 
But of, of February. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> Cause he said the twelfth and the thirteenth. Your, your boy booked me. Uh, Cause on I was the gonna go. I was gonna go. Dumb rich. Really? Them boys booking like that? I'm gonna tell you how it was. How everybody be lately with Shaq. Uh-huh. I put that bill out of Shaq. Hey, dude, what you charge this? Nigga sent the whole deposit. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, yeah. Man, let me say what you gonna Price do. Price just went up. Listen, oh. listen. <laughs> The thing is, this one I hate. Shout out to Dumb Rich, man. This hey, I, shout out to Dumb Rich. I love those boys. They gave me an outfit the other day down there. You ever did it before? Somebody want to book you, right? Right? They'd be like, hey, man, G that my whole cost to book you, right? And you'd be like, man, you might say something like 2000 I'm just saying, they'd be like, bet, hell yeah. I'm like, man, damn. Man, damn. Oh, nigga. <laughs> $10,000. He said bet so easy for $2,000. Yeah, no, that hurt. I said 2000 I didn't even want to say that. I'm like, man, 2000 I'm like, I don't want to scare him away. Uh-huh. I want the money. Uh-huh. So after, you think he might, after, <laughs> after said, nigga, I thought you chose five bands. Oh, damn. I'm over here like, I got you next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 when they say it quick, Start bro. asking that what you think I'm worth. Then you put your number on there. That's then dope. Then you add more. Yeah, I learned. You said what? <laughs> I I it took me a while. I took it took me a while, but uh, I learned my worth though. I know what. No, you gotta know. You worth. gotta know. That's that's how I was in the beginning. In the beginning like, you don't them. know. It's like you. It's like you know you lit. That's why they all reaching out to you. So, but you don't know no better at the time. It's like you, they reaching out to you for a reason. They want you for wow. a reason. So you like. Man, I don't want to say too much. Anybody scaring away? You, facts, you thinking facts. about you thinking about their feelings and all that? But that, but that's why that's why your manager come in because you ain't got to be the bad guy. Your manager negotiates stuff. Wow. But when it was you doing it, you like you saying that stuff yourself, man. I'm like, I really, I would love to tell somebody five thousand. I know I'm cracking. I know I'm lit right now. But yeah. if I say five thousand in my mind. Because I know I'm still grinding. They might not want, they might want to pay it. So you try to go down to two or something like that. And they be like, oh, hell yeah, bet. I'm finna send half right now. You be like, mm, motherfucker. Like, man, I could have been. I should have mm-hmm. told you. I, I should have just said I'm man. way bigger than them. I tell you what I hate. When they hit you, hey, hey, bro, what you charge? Ain't no, before I let they for your ass what you charge. They all going back and forth in the conversation. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Soon, what you charge? You seen that nigga like he ain't never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas be wild. No, 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 that's the truth. Well, let me get back with my team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the hey. Nah. I just got that the other day, <laughs> bro. First of all, listen. This is why I know he was cheap because he asked me. This is on Facebook. I don't really do promo on my Facebook, right? He said, "Hey man, I just want you to drop my flyer on your page, man. I got. I forgot what he had going on. Ooh, I said, look, listen. What I told him, I said, bro. I said, you just throw me a hundred. He's a flyer. Just throw me a hundred dollars. I'll post it and tag you, but I'll leave it up because you know why? I know I'll keep posting content. It's going to yeah. push down. Mm-hmm. He was like, all right, I'm going to holler at you. Let me get in my team. <laughs> <laughs> For a hundred dollars? I already knew it. I said, you just want to talk to me, man. <laughs> I, I just, I left it there. But you I, know what that is? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Say, nigga, we gonna end on that note, man. Say, man, I love both of you brothers. Y'all man. already know it, man. When y'all in already. Dallas, Texas, you gotta come through here, holler at your boy, man. Mm-hmm. It's a unique hustle. Boss talk is a thing now. So mm-hmm. everybody doing boss talk, man. I need uh, tickets to all y'all shows. We going. Because I can be mm-hmm. outside it's up. in a different way. It's up. <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101.